we want to calculate the normal force here at E. So normal force there, uh, which we will be doing with all of these. We're given the force P here being applied at 100 newtons, and we're given all of these dimensions. Um, now, I'm going to change these dimensions when I do my calculations. I'm going to change these to meters because uh, a P force of 100 newtons and a dimension in millimeters, it's not going to work out good. You're going to get newton millimeters. And while it is technically something that we can use as long as we keep our units consistent, I prefer newton meters because it's a little bit more standard and you don't have uh, kilogram meters, millimeters per second, you know. Uh, just, I prefer this. So, member, we're going to start with member BCP. Assuming this is point P, we'll call this here P. We're going to start with member BCP, and we're going to calculate uh, some of the stuff on there. Wait, might be uh, easy, good thing to note. that This is a two-force member here. So you can only have two forces on there. So that's going to really help with our calculations. And uh, let's start by drawing BCE. I'm just going to draw a simple diagram showing the forces. Now at the beginning of any problem, you should draw a free body diagram. I'm not in order to save time and reduce confusion. So we'll have here P, 100 newtons. That should be perpendicular. All right, and then we have F's force FC or force C, and up here at B, we're gonna have a Y component and an X component. Uh, this is gonna be difficult, but I think we can do it. call this the ball clamp, just because I can. This is at 30 degrees here. 160 millimeters, 160. 160, this is 60. Hmm. Another important thing to note, this is a uh, this member is all the way down to E, basically. This whole member. So this is not a two-force member. We can't call it that. Uh, what can we? No. No, it's a multi-force member. We can't say that it's two. All right. So where do we start? Well. I'd say start with the moments about B. That'll give us force C and make things a heck of a lot easier. So, sigma, moments about B. And it's an equilibrium, those will go to zero. Ooh, this looks fun. Yes. It's up at 60 degrees. Equals zero, we'll get C. Let's call it C. Acting at 60 millimeters, sine 60, 0 0.06 meters, cos 60 degrees. Has to be perpendicular distance, so it's cos. Then we'll have uh, the vertical component of this one going down, which will create a clockwise, so negative. This is counterclockwise, so it's positive, so minus 100 newtons. supposed to be newtons. Uh, sine 60 degrees times perpendicular distance 60 millimeters cos 60. Sixty millimeters cos of 60. This is probably going to run off the page a bit. And uh, then we'll have plus 0 0.16 meters times cos of 30. And then we'll have horizontal component, which we will assume to be above, which will be, well, uh, we don't know. 
So we'll just plus uh, 100 newtons, 100 cos of 60, cos of 60 degrees. Now if we assume that positive, then when we multiply it by the perpendicular distance, which is going to be vertically, if it is vertical up here, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that if it's vertical, it'll be negative, and if it's uh, less than vertical, then it'll be a positive. So it'll be 60 millimeters sine 60. Minus 160 millimeters sine 30. And then when we do that, if uh, this is going to be bigger than this, then uh, this will become negative and it'll be a negative term and we'll have the correct moment. And when we solve that, we get C equals. Uh, 533 and that'll be of course up this is in compression and that gives us our force at C the two force member and that makes solving the rest of this a heck of a lot easier so we do sigma Fy that direction is positive We'll get by plus 533 minus 100. That'll be that'll be 100 times sine of 60 degrees equals zero. By equals 446.4. And that'll be acting down. And uh, summation in the x direction. We'll get, um, <clears throat> so we'll get bx plus 100, that'll be cos of 60. Cos of 60 degrees equals zero bx equals 50 newtons and that'll be acting in the opposite direction so 50 newtons that way and this pretty much makes sense we know that uh, since this is acting such a far distance away it's going to be creating a significant moment force significant moment on here so B is a rather large force C is a force that's pretty large to also counteract that and then B is 50 newtons which also makes sense so we're good for that draw a line there to separate it these are oops these are important answers we'll need them later on so we'll put the markers on there uh, let's see here now we do member BAE I'll draw that. I'll pause here and resume when it's drawn. Okay, so we're finished drawing this. Um, oh man, my throat's really dry. So we got 446 newtons up. That's equal opposite reaction at B. And then we'll have A with two unknowns. We'll have force E. We have our Bx, which I forgot to. We have our Bx here going this way at B, and uh, it's going that way as opposed to this because of equal and opposite reaction forces. So, right. Uh, we don't want to have to look for the forces in A because that'll take us some time. We'll just directly solve for the forces in E. So the summation of uh, moments about A will be our best equation equals zero. So we'll get uh, E, E's acting clockwise, negative E 
at 75 millimeters, 0 0.075. We're going to get uh, that 446 newtons acting this way. It'll be a uh, counter, so plus 446 at 50 millimeters times the sine of 45. Sine of 45 degrees. And we'll get another clockwise from the 50 newton force, minus 50 and that'll be at 45 degrees, 50 millimeters, uh, 0 0.05 times the sine of 45. This shouldn't be sine of 45 for the 446. It should be cos because we're doing the we're doing the horizontal distance is perpendicular, so cos 45 degrees. That doesn't actually make any difference in our calculations because sine 45 equals cos 45 but I don't know it's good form to write it down so we do this we get E equals 187 so therefore normal force on the block E is 187 newtons and that's that's uh, eh, it's almost double what we put in there's more efficient machines than this but uh, I don't know I guess it makes the person feel stronger anyway that's the solution to this and what equation containing E equals would be complete without of course mc squared, even though it doesn't really come into play here, but it's always nice to see. So yeah, that's the solution to this problem, and uh, once again, uh, have a nice day.